Right. Abstinence is nothing but crap. I mean, because if you got abstinence, then what, then what you get end up being an adult virgin, or even worse, a senior citizen virgin, and that is like a hell to most anybody. In fact, if I had the opportunity, I would, if I was in an assembly, I would stand right up in my chair and I would say, FUCK UP FUCK ABSTINENCE! Having failed in romance after romance, Chris was desperate to lose his virginity. On April 4th, Chris made accounts on the dating websites OkCupid and The Hook Cafe. Trolls managed to track down both profiles almost immediately. The miscreants created a fake account on The Hook Cafe using the alias Jacqueline Romy. Jackie was primarily played by Alec Benson Leary, the original creator of Aspertue. On April 5th, Jackie reached out to Chris. Predictably, Chris took the bait. I've just read your profile and saw your pic. You're pretty. I guess I'm a suitable candidate for you. I have strong arms and you have a lot of fun things I totally agree on that we can do together. Chris asked if Jackie had any STDs and she agreed to get tested. He admitted that he was a virgin, though he reassured her that he was knowledgeable when it came to lovemaking, thanks to the copious amounts of pornography he consumed. Chris went on to explain his experiences at college and his feuds with Mary Lee Walsh and Michael Snyder, the manager of the game place. He also warned her about the internet trolls and bullies. Jackie encouraged Chris to revisit the game place, suggesting that he protest his lifelong ban with a non-violent sit-in. On April 11th, Chris entered the game place. Michael Snyder was nowhere to be seen and Chris fled after a cashier recognized him and threatened to call the police. The next day, Chris returned with a hidden camera in his pocket to record the encounter. This is Christian Weston Chandler, Captain's Law, Star Date, 4.34 p.m., Monday, April 12, 2010. I am about to go into the game, comic, and hobby place to get myself, to try to get myself unbanned and get forgiveness for the mistake I have made almost a year ago when I was banned from the store in June of 2008. The dude who banned me was, his name is Michael Snyder, possibly a Jew considering the last name. Nothing bad against the Jews, but I'm just throwing it out there. Alright, so here I go. Hello, Michael. I see uh, you've been. You see, you're looking well. Can't change much since for the past almost two years. But uh, I came back hoping that uh, we could put that behind us. And uh, come on. I mean, it has been almost two years, and it's just been on my mind for so long. Yeah, just be. Able... No. Uh, can we just forgive no. or forget? You need to leave now. How can you be so heartless? I mean, you're, I mean, you're obviously not as mean as. One of those trolls I've been dealing with. You need to leave. Mm. I mean, come on. I mean, obviously you had something against me. Aside from the Wii incident, I just would like to know what. Give me a break. All right, fine, I'll leave. But I hope that God will forgive you for being so heartless and cruel, Michael Snyder. Jim. Oh. During the incident, Michael Snyder called the police, but Chris was gone by the time they arrived. Chris uploaded his recording to the internet, he included Michael Snyder's contact information and encouraged his fans to pester Snyder until his ban was lifted. Jackie took issue with the way Chris conducted himself, particularly his offensive remarks against Jews. Chris assured her that he was not racist. Before they met in person, Jackie wanted to confirm that Chris was sexually experienced. She asked about how he would treat a woman orally and requested a demonstration of his technique. Chris was hesitant due to his history of leaked private videos and pointed her to the quickie for examples on his sexual prowess. Jackie was disgusted when she came across a video where Chris admitted to cheating on Ivy with the Vanessa Hudgens. She asked again for a private video and Chris gave in. Yeah, let me apologize for, uh, yeah, that thing. I, for even leading you to the quick key. And then with that, uh, reading what you read on Ivy's page, yeah, I was wrong. I forgot one detail of that, that detail. 
Yeah, it was uh, supposedly I was talking to uh, this Vanessa Hudgens. It was like coming on to me really, really well online, and I had I held in with my self restraint as best as I could for a long time. And then she just kind of talked me into it a little bit. Ignore that. <laughs> I, I'm going to show. I'm going to show you some ways on how I can pleasure you orally. Okay. I yeah. I got a few ideas. Like you know, I would definitely give you some finger play. Lots of fingers. But yeah, I'll just yeah. I could be like. Ah, you lick your pretty little click there. Dickly up. Oh, and here's the fun part. I put my I can roll my tongue. I put I push I put it in there. And extend it while it's in there. Can you imagine that? And yeah. I have been under confusion for a little while, but seriously, Ivy, I really do want you. I want you, and I do love you, and I care about you. And I pray that this video does not fall into the hands of the trolls. Hmm, I'll view uh, another thing about myself. I actually do, actually, uh, do have a bit of a belly, but uh, also with that, uh, man boobs. I'm not, I'm not, t I'm telling you this in strictest confidence that you will not laugh at me. But when I walk, they do bounce, so I have to, uh, so I wear a sports bra. Works very good, keeps them from bouncing. I got, I'm a 42 bust. Alright, well. I hope we can hopefully we can move on and uh, resume our relationship with emotions or otherwise restart it. I love you, Jackie. Love you. Hmm. Jackie pointed out that Chris confused her with Ivy at one point and accused him of loving video games more than her. Chris grew frustrated and replied, You do not know me, woman. I love women over video games. I cannot help my social problems from my autism or that I'm one who misinterprets social cues. I'm sometimes unable to predict or understand the outcoming emotions or reactions to my actions. I can't help my own mental problems that sometimes misguide me. Ugh. Send your complaints to your letters to the editor section. This would be the end of their relationship for the time being. Good day, I'm here today on this uh, pleasant day in April 2010 to uh, discuss autism as it is Autism Awareness Month. People with autism have difficulty seeing things from other persons' perspective. This inability leaves them unable to predict or understand other people's actions. Although not universal, it is common for people with autism to have difficulty regulating their emotions. Sometimes they may be destructive and physically aggressive, making social relationships even more difficult. They have a tendency to lose control, particularly when they're in a strange or overwhelming environment or when angry and frustrated. And as you may have noticed, I am standing here today topless, as you might say. I do this in defense and in protest because every time because every time I see a male individual who goes around, runs around, or exercises shirtless, it is very offensive to me. And I do not appreciate that. And I'm sure that is a lot of, it is offensive to a lot of other people as well. And my opinion, if I could, I would I would say that I would make a law that would require all male individuals to wear a sports bra while they are out exercising or working if they insist on being shirtless. Come on, dudes, get with the program. Nobody wants to see these nips and things of our left of history. After breaking up with Jackie, Chris began advertising himself as a male escort under the pseudonym Carlos Chantor. Trolls had no trouble finding his profile. Hello? Is this uh, Mr. Carlos Chantor? I thought I heard something about you had an escort service going on. 
Actually, yeah, um, yeah, it is, but I can't talk. I can't talk right now. Uh, could you call oh. me back uh, another time, please? Well, yes, I was just wondering about oh, what time should I call back? Cause I heard you were into water sports. Hmm. Maybe. What kind of water sports? Hmm. Uh, Talk more about we'll talk more about that um, later. Um, call back. We'll do, honey. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Bye now. Chris deleted his escort profile shortly afterwards. In early May, Chris entered a radio contest, winning four tickets to a sports event. He was unable to find anyone else willing to go with him, and sold the other three tickets, attending the show alone. In his isolation, Chris reflected on his past, searching for someone to blame for his current situation. I was at the John Paul Jones Arena earlier tonight at the Extreme Action Sports. I had won four tickets the previous Friday. The few friends I have here could not could not come could not come with me. And I could not even find anybody in the congregation tank to go with me. And even with the help of uh, my pastoral counselor to get in contact with them, they did not call, none of them call me back. And I had to sit right next to a lovey-dovey couple, which that was okay, you know. I was trying to be good. I was trying to be good friend, you know, sociable. Anyway, I, I send this message to all the people that were of the Green County School Board and such during the 1990s because threatening to put me in a mental institution, that was pretty much why we had to run away. They moved to Chesterfield County, and I had a better life over there. I had I had so many friends over there in high school, and I was just sad to leave when I had to graduated. You people of Green County, you could not have left us, uh, left me and my family alone. You had to go and pay off the realtors just so. This ha- so this house here could not have been sold, <sighs> and I would have been I would have had a lot a happier life over there than right now than how I'm feeling. If right now because we had because we were forced to move back here because of you goddamn people who were afraid of autistic individuals. You had to force my family to move back here. Well, I was okay, and I have a couple of friends, and I'm better off with stuff. That stuff is no good if I don't have if I don't have many friends to share it with. I bet even Green County had something to do with influencing that goddamn Michael Snyder to make him pretend to have a reason to kick me out quote-unquote, scaring his customers away. You goddamn greedy Snyder. Laugh all you want, trolls. Because I don't give a damn. You're all just immature, naive, condescending, soulless monsters. You don't care about others. You only care about yourselves. You only care about getting your own laughs and kicks because you don't you don't have your own social life. And Clank Clyde Cash, you can all go to hell. And Michael Snyder, I hope you go to hell too. On May 27th, Chris uploaded a video lashing out at the trolls. Look, all you people there who are, all you people who mock me and torment me, you trolls. I'm sick and tired of having to deal with you. You do not need to be getting it, hacking into my crap and stuff. You do not need to be doing that. And you should never do that. I would never even do that. 
I am trying to improve myself. I am working on myself in real life. I am not lazy. I am no I am not so much a man child as I was before. And I am act and I am active within my community looking for new looking for new friends to talk to hang out with to talk to. And especially the women. I do not need to repeat myself. I am straight. I love women. And I am not going to be on the internet much because I have been turned off of the internet because of what? Because of them damn? Because of you damn trolls? Give me so many bad experiences of the internet. Real life is so much better than the internet. You know, you glue yourselves to your computers, every last one of you, and y'all becoming autistic-like. People meeting people on the internet supposedly is an improvement in relationships, but you know what? I disagree heavily. A few days later, Chris attended Fridays After Five, an annual musical event that took place in Charlottesville during the summer months. On his way home, Chris decided to stop at the game place to confront Michael Snyder once again. According to Snyder, Chris took pictures of his daughter and tried to run him over with his car. The police were called and Chris was forced to delete all footage before he was allowed to leave. Chris wasn't charged with any crime and gave his side of the story soon afterwards. First off, I would like to state I do not quote unquote fiddle my cats. I, I, the only parts that touch on them are their back and their heads. Nothing more. Anyway, after that, let me tell you about uh, what happened uh, last Friday, the uh, 4th of June. Okay, so it was after Fridays after 5, I went over to a bar and I had a bud. A bottle of bud. But then about, about three quarters of an hour through, because I had a camera in my possession, I then had the impulse of, hey, I'll go over there, I'll go over to the place and take a picture of Michael Snyder so that I could print it out later and use it as a dartboard. So then I drove over to the parking lot of the place in front of Staples and then I made my way to the window to take a picture of him and nobody else. But that, uh, that I was not alone there in front of the uh, window. There was another dude who was apparently on his side and recognized me. So I went to my car and then he ran in and got Michael and then Michael jumped in front of my car. He jumped in front of my car. He, in my fact, he jumped up to the top of my hood. He was looming over my windshield. He was lucky he didn't get hurt as far as I know. So then I sorted out with the police. Uh, they, deleted, they deleted the pictures. And then so with that I told the police about... I reminded them, eventually, of the, of the trolls of the internet that have been going against me, and so I warned them of websites such as the Wiki, and I named a troll or two. I'm not going to say uh, who I named, but anyway, they let me go with. A, but anyway, I was let go with a warning out of the parking lot, and also uh, Michael just basically loomed into me, and he said he just basically shouted from me. YOU'RE DEAD! YOU'RE DEAD! Right, if I had the right mind, I would send him, I would give him a charge of verbal, serve him a charge of verbal harassment. But I was already under trouble for quote-unquote trespassing. After his run-in with the authorities, Chris resumed his hiatus from the internet. He was cited at another Fridays After Five event on June 18th. He was seen dancing alone and reportedly wore a red shirt with the inscription, I enjoy vagina. At one point, Chris pulled up his shirt to reveal his sports bra which read, Want Woman, written in bold lettering. To occupy his time, Chris started using the Flipnote Studio app on his Nintendo DSi. 
He would share his artwork to the Flipnote Hatina website almost daily. His drawings started out innocent enough, but on June 27th, he uploaded an animation of an erotic dream he had, where he and a woman are floating in an aquatic labyrinth. When they happen upon each other, Chris gets an erection. His video violated the Flipnote Hatina terms of service and was quickly removed. In a later Flipnote, Chris tagged Jackie, along with other true and honest women. On July 1st, for the first time since April, Jackie sent Chris an email. Why exactly are you making a shout out to me in your Flipnote cartoon? Why would you keep bringing me up given that you decided a long time ago that dealing with me was too much work for you? Chris apologised and the two reconnected. He updated Jackie on his mental state. I'm doing okay. I get lonely sometimes, the whole not having a girlfriend thing and whatnot, and I've gone out and try, try, and try again to meet new people, but I still get held back with fear of rejection keeping me from approaching women, and I still have my mental hang-ups against the majority of the male population. The trolls were not much help either. I have few friends or acquaintances in real life, and I refuse to start any new relationships over the internet. I feel paranoia over that as well. Without my needed to see a far distance glasses, I know that I have a handsome face. If there really are any single women in Seville, I feel they would have seen me and at least say hey, but I'm constantly unnoticed in public. It makes me feel sad knowing that I'm invisible even in the mass public events I've been hanging around in, such as the local Fridays after five. Obviously I need people to come to me and they make first contact, because even with my drunken word vomit shouts, I'm still invisible. My adult life sucks. On Independence Day, Chris was noticed at McIntyre Park by an onlooker who shared his observations. I saw him scribble on something, wrap it around what I think he picked up was a rock, and threw it at this woman. I don't think it hit her, but she seemed startled. She picked up whatever he threw, opened up the paper he had written on, looked at him, and shook her head. She then turned and went on her way. A few days later, Chris was seen at another Fridays After Five. Sorry for not adding more with the pictures, but I did notice that Chris had taken his DSi zoom lens off his DSi and was using it as a telescope. He had it pressed up against his eye and was constantly watching around him with it for a while. It seemed like he paid more attention to what was going on around him than what was happening at the concert. At one point, I noticed a girl, who looked like she was probably still in high school, jump up on the ledge beside Chris and join a group of friends who happened to be stationed behind the man baby. In the process, Chris turned to her and it looked like he said something to her because immediately her facial expression changed from a legit happy one to a forced smile one. She joined up with her friends and they immediately huddled together, whispering about something. At the same time, they all looked at Chris and laughed. I can only imagine what he said to the poor girl. In May, a mysterious new troll known as Jenkins Jinkies began making edits on the quickie. On July 3rd, he wrote an article about a local coffee shop. Within the single fast food joint of the small town of Ruckersville, Virginia, Bobby goes for a morning coffee and breakfast, most days of the week. Sadly though, on some of those days, along with other senior citizens who have been going there for years for their own early bird specials, they get harassed by one or two of the snot-nosed snooty employees. One of which, Amanda, is one of the part-time managers who gives her elders the coldest of shoulders. Amanda also really opens up for the black people. She would be most friendly to any of the black people. Uncle Ruckus would really kick the shit out of the bitch for not treating us white people with good kindness and respect. All of the seniors who loyally come in for their daily morning bread would just itch for the chance to smack her ass and crack her china in due respect to the harassment she has butt hurt onto them. It has been reported that Chrissy has been sighted there, but no photographs has been taken, aside from the one above, of him inside the restaurant. The article got the attention of Clyde Cash and the miscreants, who quickly realised that Jenkins Jinkies was in fact Chris himself. The trolls decided to play along, creating a web forum called Troll in Train, and invited Jenkins into their inner circle. As part of their application process, Jenkins was required to make an introductory video. Go for Clyde Cash, and over your on the quick key. I hear Chris the and Trevor reverse. He is a lazy slob. The money is wasted on him. He doesn't have to work for this money. Damn that, damn him. And also, he is unfriendly to us males. He should be friendly to his males. It really ticks me off. <clears throat> anyway, 
I pledge my allegiance to Coin Cash and everybody else in the Quickie. I'll get the information on Christian Western Chamber. I'm sorry I have been uh, taking so long in doing this, but I was just getting settled in into my new home across the street from his house. Like sheep of the family. Thank you very much, Coin Cash, you rule. Chris, certain he'd managed to conceal his identity, described the process of recording his video to Jackie. I have recorded the video earlier today, using a dark shirt covering my whole head, no glasses. I performed my own voice check with my DSI's voice recording program. I found the best method to completely change my voice is to go deep and also pucker my lips while I spoke. It really worked. On the 29th of July, after being accepted into the inner circle of trolls, Jenkins made his first post to the Troll in Train forum. First, let me say I am most humbled to be welcomed among my fellow troll kind. Well, let me tell a bit more about myself for starters. My real name is Junior Jenkins. Scooby Doo was the inspiration behind the Jinkies, lol. I had a birthday recently on the 16th of July, so now I'm 15. I couldn't celebrate it with my friends like I would have wanted to, because I was hitchhiking my way to Ruckersville from Boston. I'll also miss my favourite duo of dudes, Jerry and Dino. They taught me the ropes of high school life. They both were 16, I looked up to them, like I would have for my older sister if she wasn't such a fucking cunt. They were a gay couple, and they respected me as a friend only. I made my final realisation I was not gay with the help of Jerry and my girlfriend Lisa. Sweet little whore took me in with gratitude on my 14th birthday. She had a few exes from middle school, and her mum was a bondage queen. Before then, I had a gay experience in summer camp when I was seven. My bunkmates were experimenting, and made me their mofo unwilling guinea pig. I was blindfolded during the whole thing, feeling an eight year old's up my ass. I was not thrilled from the ordeal, but last January, I became curious from the recalling of the feeling. So, I asked Jerry to show me a night. At first, it was neutral, then he made out with me. His breath was minty with a hint of garlic from something he ate. It was cool with me. Then he told me to suck his dick, and I did. The taste and sight did not thrill me, and he sucked mine. He got a rise out of me, and then I started to feel uneasy. It was minor at first, and I promised myself I'd see this through. Finally, he was in me, doggy style. As he humped me, I was feeling it both in my penis and in my guts, worsening as he went on. And eventually, I embarrassed myself grossly. I came and fucking threw up simultaneously. Jerry had not come yet himself, and out of respect, he withdrew himself and asked me if I was okay. He cleaned me and my mess on his floor up. I felt so damn ashamed, but Jerry was kind and understanding to me, and it was then I confirmed it for myself that I was not gay, and Jerry and Dino agreed with me. So with that, I was able to move forward, feeling more confident in my orientation. Jackie asked Chris about his sexual fantasies. I've had the question of sexual fantasies posed to me before, and there are a few. One is having sex in a swimming pool, to emulate a dream I had of being lost in a water-filled labyrinth where I was intercepted by a woman and we made out and had sex. I am game for <coughs> sex, as long as you're my partner, and you wore a strap on or used a butt plug in me, as long as it's not penis shaped. I would also like beep sex, swing set, pole dancing, me, you, or both at once, three way with two women, role play, and others I can't remember right now. Feel free to suggest other sex play topics and I'll let you know if it's cool with me or not. Jackie played off his swimming pool fantasy and requested a drawing. Can you show me a preview by drawing us together in a pool? We would just be tearing at each other, but then we get caught a bunch of guys come in surrounding the pool and just stare at us, but we're so enamoured with each other, making such passionate love that we just don't care and we keep going. And then all the guys get turned on by watching us and they start jacking themselves off into the pool. Circle jacking is such a huge fantasy of mine. Do you think you could draw something like that for me? Chris was uncomfortable with the idea of drawing nude men and eventually sent Jackie images of his own fantasies instead. Jackie wasn't satisfied. When Chris finally got around to her requested drawing, most of the observing crowd was made up of women. On August 27th, Chris accidentally formatted his PlayStation 3's hard drive after having technical difficulties and made his long-awaited return to YouTube. Now I just got through talking with uh, technical people at Sony and there was a misunderstanding between me and 
the uh, employee over at Sony Computer Entertainment America, and I said yes. Everything I have worked for since since March 2007, since I started, save data, videos, music, photographs. Everything I saved on my hard drive. If y'all with that piece of knowledge, let y'all contemplate. Of a especially to Clyde Cash. Let him contemplate the agony in the past few years. Everything. Chris took this mishap surprisingly well and saw it as a chance for a fresh start. When I lost all the save data in the format, I lost the me that was enduring those lonely, hard times. It was like I lost a relative. But what was lost was the lonely, considerably pathetic me. And behind those emotions were the darker reasons behind the gameplay. I have awakened anew, with the anguish of the past three years washed away. But now, I have a more positive turn in my life. My future with you, Jackie. And from this point on, my gameplay on my PS3, which was tainted in the darkness of loneliness, can now be gameplay of the light of happiness from the romance between you and me. Yet, you are right, Jackie. During the immediate post-death of the loneliness and anguish, I can and will use my refreshed energy to focus on the immediate, more important needs and details of life, including the takedown of the trolls, while the software data is being re-downloaded. On August 25th, Jackie discovered a list of challenges posted to the Troll in Train forum, each with a monetary reward. One of these challenges was to destroy Chris's PlayStation 3. Jackie suggested that Chris destroy his own PS3 and collect the reward for himself. A few days later, he sent Jackie a video. What you are about to see is uncensored and unedited. My PlayStation 3 here in the backyard. The hard drive still in there. Formatted as it was. And for a memento, I'm keeping the cover. It's very, it's, this is very graphic, so if you are weak in the stomach, especially as a gamer, look away. And I mean no disrespect to Sony Computer Entertainment America. Baker of the fine product. Vessel of my loneliness within the past three years of anguish. I bid you Fond fair day. Crushed, unplayable, the deed is done. Jackie wasn't certain that the trolls would be satisfied with the level of damage inflicted to his PS3. And now, if you'll excuse me, I will collect the pieces to be put into a dumpster. Have a With Jackie's approval, he sent the evidence to Clyde Cash and demanded the reward. Let's talk business. 
As you're aware, I, myself, am aware of the trolling train, and recently I have mistakenly formatted my PS3 hard drive. I do have a girlfriend now. I will not disclose her name, and she is aware of these factors as well. She has encouraged me to work for your reward offer. So, with the full intention of moving forward in life, I have destroyed my PS3 personally and video recorded it. All I ask for me to actually upload the video onto my YouTube is the full reward, as posted on Trolling Train, of $9,001 in cash, no check, no digital transfer, send me all of the cash in a big bubble wrapped envelope via snail mail. You have my good word that I will upload this same video onto my own YouTube right after I get the cash. Clyde Cash forwarded the conversation to Surfshack Tito, who would handle monetary transactions. Tito pointed out that Chris missed a number of prerequisites. You are only qualified for the reward if you have signed a contract agreement for Clyde Cash before entering the trolling establishment. Reward qualifies for you to pay tribute to Tito for security protection along with forfeiting your white women for the black man in the pickle suit. You will not be qualified for the reward if you are Christian. Tito and Clyde agreed to bend the rules after Chris promised to cast a forgiveness blessing on all the trolls that he had cursed. They decided on Fashion Square Mall as the exchange point. An agent in a pickle suit would deliver the money at 2pm the following day. Chris arrived early and waited 40 minutes before realising that nobody was going to show. He gave the trolls one last chance and Tito agreed to send a female agent with a pickle tattoo on her breast. The next day, a troll filmed Chris as he waited to collect his prize. Once again, he left empty-handed. After Chris realised that he'd been duped, he sent Clyde one final email. I am tired of your game of goose chase. I know you and Tito are not going to give me even half a penny of any money. Even after I've broken my one PS3 I paid $400 for in 2007. You both want me to even beg. You can go point at your own damn snouts and oink like Eric Cartman and then beep. yourselves with your own damn Darth Maul dual lightsaber. Fuck off and beep both of you. Chris shared his frustrations with Jackie. I'll replace my PS3 as soon as possible, but smashing it for this venture that has emotionally tortured me the past weekend was a big mistake. I've informed my mother of the past weekend's events, but I softened the blow for her elder mind by telling her the console died before I destroyed, and I added that I tried to restore it back from the dead, including with surgery and a checkup with the Geek Squad person at Best Buy. I felt their respect for me would be worse if I told them of the fact that it was still operational and considerably murdered it in cold blood. I crashed myself at about 7 last night and fell asleep. I awoke 3 hours later, finding my mother sitting in my chair in my view. She was emotionally torn up over me destroying the console for the trolls entertainment. She and dad are under the impression that the trolls are controlling me. I understand and helped her through her emotions and tears. I drove her to Walmart and walked with her by her side to relieve her pain. I was just doing what a good child would do for their parents. On September 2nd, Chris bought a new PlayStation 3 from GameStop using a loan of $200 from his parents. Jackie was disappointed with Chris's unwillingness to give up video games. A few days later, Chris declared his love for Jackie. I love you! I love you Jacqueline Romney! Come to me or I will come to you! And we will enjoy it, and we will dance the night away, or hang the day away, and see where it goes from there. You make me jump. You make me jump! I love you so much! Can't stand it. I really can't stand it. Nothing's gonna come between us, sweetheart. It's you and me forever. On September 16th, Chris noticed a message in his mailbag from someone named Robert Paulson. He claimed to be Jackie's boyfriend and shared a nude photograph of her as proof. Jackie wasn't aware of any Robert, but she confessed that she had sent nudes to an ex-boyfriend named Lars. Jackie explained that Lars had a crippling addiction to toy boats. He supposedly bought hundreds of model boats, many of which remained in their packaging unopened. He used them as an escape from real life. Chris failed to recognise the parallels between Lars' collection of boats and his own stockpile of video games. On September 25th, Jackie asked Chris to make a video that would intimidate Lars. She suggested incorporating a model boat to personalise his message. 
Good afternoon. This message goes out to an ex of my dear but uh, my dear beloved sweethearts, who goes by the name of Lars. Who had a session with model boats, and here is a Titanic-like boat. He is piloting it. Let's see what happens to his boat. Oh, look at me! I'm sailing in my Titanic-like boat that was originally for my girlfriend. Who is now Chris's girlfriend? Oh no! What's this? A cypher! Yeah! The consequences will never be the same. Lars, you are no match for me and my muscles. Chris was successful at getting Lars's attention. Hey Fatso, you the fat loser my Jackie wound up with? Well, I must have done a number on her. If she be so traumatized, she would sink as low as you. You know what ain't sinking? My resolve. No. Don't you ever be showing my boat sinking. You just lucky that wasn't one of my boats. If that had been one of my boats, I'd have whomped yo pasty fat ass. You wonky dweeb. No. Jackie's gonna be mine again. You just wait and see. Lars attached a picture of himself. On September 29th, Jackie received a threatening gift in the mail. Lars sent her a miniature boat made of popsicle sticks with a magnum condom for a sail. Now realizing that Lars was black, Chris adjusted his style of speaking to be more relatable. Yo Lars, listen up yo. I got a, bi I got a bigger message to tell ya. I mean, I did, I've been telling you before, I've been kind of simple, but I gotta yell it out to ya. Jackie is over you! You drive a turkey. And I'll tell you something, I'll tell you something else, yo. She left you because of all the goddamn boats. You pay for a whole bunch of useless stuff you're never gonna use anyway, you jive a turkey. I'll tell you something else. You ain't never gonna get her back. She's been long over you, boy. All day long and all week long. She and I are gonna be... I'll be tapping that sweet ass of hers. I spank her ass because she wants it. She asked me for it. And you know what? She ain't, you ain't gonna get that request no more, mofo. Jive a turkey. You ever go near us? I'll beat your ass. Around this time, Jackie requested a video from Chris where he sings and dances, dressed as her favorite Dragon Ball Z character, Mr. Popo. Hello. I have glasses for a genie, Mr. Popo. Once there was this boy who was born with some autism and yet made a few friends but after his high school years he lost his friends and was cruel tortured ain't, ain't no saints of the fiddle no saints of the fiddle like this ain't no saints of the fiddle no saints of the fiddle like this a son you say wah wah, ho ho say ya ho. A son you say wah wah, ho ho say ya ho. Happy loving between me and Jackie. I love you, sweetheart. Boing. After tricking Chris into painting his face black, Jackie realized that he would do just about anything that she asked. So she came up with a challenge. If Chris could film himself wearing a different cosplay every day in October, she would reward him with sex. Yo, governor, don't mind me much. I'm just a shimmy sweep on shore leave. Da 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 da. Step in time, step in time, step in time, step in time. Never near reason, never near rhyme. Step in time, step your time. Time to hang by the ear. Take that sign. Back friend. Rubber ear. A rubble. I'm with you. I'm with you. Rubble, rubble, rubble. He's going to make it. Rubble, rubble, rubble. Hello, I'm a bring the sun not dead. I'm in love, I'm feeling sad. I was this done in my childhood. Everybody thought I was different. Seriously, folks. I was pretty different right? because I was autistic too. Hey, folks. It's me, my cat. I am the ruler of the internet and the internet trolls. I am an idiot! Rule over me! Watch over me! Seriously, take me down! I want you to keep me! 
Fortress! Keep it now! Keep it now! I don't want to live this life of being a spot of Satan anymore! Ah! Me, noble Cherokee man. I come to you with a brief bit of introduction to our Cherokee clan. We were very peaceful, I tell you what. We were so peaceful that we found war activities to be a polluting activity. But anyway, with that, don't mess with us. For we will shoot you down. <laughs> Hello, folks! <laughs> well, and now for something completely different. Electric Hedgehog Power! This should be me in my super mode. If I actually had the superpowers. But I don't in real life. But I just like this anyway to, I don't know, just to say something or just to have fun. Don't pick, don't torture me. Jackie, I love you. I want to hold you in my arms, sweetheart. You come out of me and we'll do each other right. Sweet times. You know, for something so lightly different. Double, double, do. Simpson, Homer Simpson, he's the greatest guy in his story. From the down the Springfield, he's about to hit a chestnut tree. Ah! I, I have been in the world of Hogwarts, and I have learned a spell or two, and I shall cast ye spell. On all ye vandals out there who have cursed my name, for I am a strike man. And you all are the homosexuals, because you mislabel me and misjudge me. Hericus, Trollicus, Erixus, busted us! On October 15th, Jackie asked for a parody video where Chris mocks Lars. She told him exactly what to wear and drink. Hey yo, Lars, my man, word on the street is, y'all, word on the street here is, y'all trying to, trying to misjudge me with that dang old jiving lingo that the troll's been using. You call me a god dang homosexual. i tell you what, bro, that is the truth. I'm straight, man. I was born straight. I lost my woman. I lost the pee. Come on, man. You go and dang... Put your boats over, over Jackie like that. That's straight down, yo. Thumbs down. You ain't got nothing, bro. You got nothing. So quit trying to win Jackie back with them goddamn lies that the trolls come up with. You know what? That just makes you one of them. And they be throwing you back. They throw you back, though. You think about that, jive ass turkey. Next, Jackie wanted to see Chris enduring the stress of pregnancy. My goodness, me, look at this. I had sex with my girlfriend, and it backfired on me. Can't believe this. Her egg went inside my beep, and now it, and now it's been in me for like nine months. Ugh. Oh, here it comes. Oh, uh, I think it's coming up the butt. Uh, I think it's coming up the butt. Oh. 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 Ah. Well, you look at that. I gave birth to a beautiful baby girl bear. Yep. No, no babies from my breast milk. Yeah, you enjoy that, don't you? I'm a, a little girl. I love you! I love you! I love you! <laughs> Jackie used her challenge as an opportunity to have Chris exercise. He performed a workout routine, wearing his stuffed bra. Feel her boobies! Jackie asked Chris to go on a hike through the Blue Ridge Mountain Trails. Chris couldn't afford the ambition fee, so he filmed himself walking the Saunders Monticello Trail instead. I think we've reached the end of our trail. Not too many ways to go yet. We have reached a dead end. 
Oh. Rest a moment, and then I head back to my car. Jackie asked Chris to do some pull-ups. I'm fine. I can't do a pull-up. At least I tried. Chris filmed a tour around Ruckersville and Charlottesville. Hello. Today we are going on a drive-by tour of some of my favorite places around town, here and there. He started by showing some of his favorite eating establishments, such as McDonald's and Burger King. I'm not a fast food addict. And I am not that big, though I can stand to lose a few pounds. Chris spends most of the tour showing off shopping locations, such as Targets and Walmarts. Viewers noticed that his car was 19 months overdue for an oil change and rattled aggressively when idle. Hey, there's a truck from Texas. He's a long way from home. On October 20th, Chris and Jackie spoke over AOL Instant Messenger. At one point, Jackie asked about his fecal incontinence and Chris soils himself due to the stress brought on by the topic. He also mentions that his PC has been acting up lately and that it could cause a delay in his upload schedule. As predicted, his computer prevented him from uploading again until October 25th, where he once again summoned his Native American heritage. Ew, smoke him peace pipe. Find your peace. On October 30th, Chris uploaded a shout out to a supposed relative of Jackie, who had a problem with unintentional defecation. He seemingly broke his glasses at one point and attempted to repair them with Crayola model magic. You know it's okay to be different. You know, sometimes we have our accidents, we poop ourselves. And specifically, uh, on a recent event, I, I had near, I had near, it's a near accident. But there was another time where I actually, where I actually did happen to be where I put my pants in public. It was just, Stress is due, and it couldn't be held. It just came out quick. I mean, it was a it was a very uncomfortable ride home that day. But I, I managed to hold my keep my cool and take myself out after I got back home. So not really big a deal. I mean, the only way you that people might notice is possibly from a weird way you're walking or otherwise a stench. Hey, I mean, at least our faces are not fucking orange like a certain. Cashy Clyde that I know. Stay tuned for an execution of him in a future video. The aforementioned execution came later that day. Chris reenacted the trial scene from the movie Pink Flamingo, starring Divine, a famous drag queen, which Chris had recently watched at Jackie's recommendation. Hello, folks, sign darling. This is Divine, Fab, you know. We are going to put on a trial now for to go against our culprit here, Mr. Clyde Cash. He stands accused of being a troll, a bully, and especially doing all these things against one Christian Weston Chandler and his fine cheer and those two family. I have reviewed all the case files and whatnot, and in this kangaroo court justice, I hereby pronounce sentence to Mr. Clyde Cash he is guilty of all charges and, and and on the lawsuit here for his punishment he will be shot to death and his one and his wife and one cent daughter will go to a better husband outside of his family one will be provided for her by law somebody within her local reach but not from the state of virginia Well, at least my face ain't fucking orange. Bye bye. Chris also showed off his belly dancing abilities. You love the socks, Jackie. Jackie had become more and more demanding throughout October. She was unforgiving when it came to Chris's computer troubles. 
After bringing up his video game obsession again, Chris decided he'd had enough. I have put up with your tough love and aggression in our past discussions, which would be misconstrued as arguments by other people. And I have been and still devoted and loving and caring for you regardless. And I have told you time and time again that you, as a person with feelings, care and devotion to return to me, I care a lot more about you than some high scores from any video game on any damn console. I dare say it is your turn now. If you break up our relationship over some crappy videos and whatnot, then it will only show that I've misjudged you. Jackie replied in a lengthy email, accusing Chris of lying to her and cutting corners during most of his videos. She was angry over his refusal to give up video games and declared that Chris had failed her contest. Jackie also hinted that she was considering getting back with Lars after he burned all of his toy boats. Chris asked Jackie not to leave him. Listen, Jackie, I got to I gotta tell it to you straight. I mean, yeah, I have been doing these videos and everything for you. I put, I've given you so much time and energy. And I want you to know that it is all good. I am being honest with you. I have been honest with you. Yeah, look, and on my Bible, I swear to God, I love you more than any, more than anything, Jackie. I love you more than anything. Hey, look, this is fun. We can feel each other up, you know? Hey, look, look at that at my cleavage. <laughs> Come on, I'll make you smile, I'll make you happy. You know I will. Because I love you. I love you a lot. We'll be very happy together. I know it. I will make you happy. As much as possible. And when you're feeling down, I'll make you feel better. I love you. Jackie wasn't convinced and decided to give Chris one last chance to prove himself. She organized a peaceful debate between Chris and Lars with the goal of determining which man was worthy of her affection. On November 4th, Chris received a phone call. Uh, this is Christian. Yo, yo, Christian C. How y'all doing, dog? Um, I'm um, staring out. How are you? Doing all right. Man. Yo, dog, what yeah. you want to talk about? Yeah, yeah, I heard you uh, burn those boats. Got rid of all of them boats. Shit be taking over my house. Y'all know, feel like a new name and shit. You ever have a feeling like that, dog? Yeah, I have felt that way yeah, before. Tell me all but, about it, dog. Uh, well, I pretty much uh, felt like uh, I ha and I had a good number of friends back in uh, high school, but then I had to then I graduated and uh, had to and had to uh, leave uh, back to Rutgersville. And then it just uh, pretty much went downhill for me, and I didn't have too many friends. Shit. Ain't no n****s in the school system be wanting no n****s in the classroom. Dropped out halfway through seventh grade and shit. Y'all be playing kick the n**** and shit? Y'all know about getting tormented and shit, ain't you? Yeah. I got I got pretty much tormented from my uh, autism and, cons and considerable uh, slow-mindedness. Oh, y'all be a slow in the mind and shit then, huh? Like that Down syndrome of shit. My cousin got that shit. Ain't got no neck and shit. Can't fit no yeah. shirts. Dog, you seem like a nice n and shit. Why Jackie having us do this shit? I had to be something about you pick fights with artisans and shit. Other cartoonists. You be like trolling and shit. Starting gang wars yeah. and shit. It's, uh, I have, I have uh, been having my fights and bouts against, uh, during the, uh, during the cyber bullies, trolls. They just uh, think that, like you know, I became like an internet celebrity, internet celebrity with my the uh, my genius and my comics and whatnot. Like my, they just smear my once good name in the mud, and then you know these person too many clips for the cloth. Well, they just been on my mind so much that I get that I end up drawing them into my comic books, making them into villains. And you ain't be drawing a comic because these these white men <laughs> what be hating on your work. They be drinking all that hater rage. That why you ain't be drawing. Cracker, you know, if you stop that, that means they win, right? Y'all got to get up on that comic and shit. Yeah. How often you get late? Hmm. I'm actually a virgin. Oh, shit, dog. This be why you angry at them trolls. How much y'all love Jackie and shit? I, I love, I love, I care and love Jackie a lot. How much? More than what? 
put it in a quantitative terms and shit. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Uh, my brain, I'm gonna catch up my brain here. Mm-hmm. Aye, aye. I feel that. I'll be giving up uh, the planet, the uh, planet closest to the sun for Jackie Mercury. Is that shit be all dwarf planet and shit now? No, no. You're no, you're thinking of Pluto, the planet that was farthest away from the sun. This is the planet. Ah, uh, aye, aye. Yeah, space be black and shit. Don't let that puzzle you and shit. Ain't no Beep. going up in space. I tell you what. Y'all feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I know y'all feel me. Y'all be my Beep. and shit. I'm a Beep. dog. I'm your man. Aye, aye, aye. I feel you. Let's go back to the metaphorical, metaphysical question of the evening. What else y'all giving up? I be giving up my video game time. That PS triple and shit? Damn. Should be like $800 and shit, right? You saw that shit off yet? No, I have not sold my PlayStation 3. And, it ha- and I have invested a lot into it. I downloaded a lot of stuff onto it. Yo, dog, I've been downloading a lot of boats and shit, too. Why can't y'all get rid of that PS Triple, though, dog? I, 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 listen, I, down- I downloaded over $4,000 worth of content. Shit, dog. Ain't about the money and shit. Shit, be about getting rid of addiction uh, and shit. Just, just, listen. I just swear upon my Aunt Karina's grave and my family and, my, and the life of myself and my mom and my dad, everybody in my family. I, I would just, not, I would not spend any more, more time on the further pit. About the time. Beep. All that time and effort. Going to some volunteering and shit. You're, you're asking me uh, why I'd be spending my all my time playing video games instead of like going out uh, to volunteer work or something like that. The point is like, I would not know where to work. And plus, you know, going out for a job after the control has been weighing me down since November 2007. But also, I do have a, I do have a police record on file uh, for having bad time and disagreements and whatnot with this dude down over at the game, over at the game and hobby place. He'd just be all afraid of me and shit like that. And plus, also, I have like a plastic past the accusations of quote-unquote soliciting when I was out in my early days in my sweetheart search looking for a, looking for a woman of my own be using a sign like you know and they'd be they misinterpreting that they'd be thinking I'd be looking for just for the booty call they just misunderstand me they handcuff me a number of times they drag me around and they even drop out on me one time rub my head on the carpet I've been bleeding off my I've been bleeding off left side of my forehead that day she badass you be sticking at the 5-0 and shit Trespassing and shit. Yeah, so you, you be feeling me, dog. Yeah, I be popping. Yeah, I be popping. I be popping a cap in that in that old that old Michael Snyder ass. I tell you what, he I'll be his ass. I'm pretty. I'm very strong. I give him an old clap, clap, yeah. If I if I had me a real life gun, but I don't have a real life gun. All I get all I got is my yeah. Uh, it all got my slow mind wit and uh, not, and uh, not much else going on there. She. Yeah. Yo, dog, this yeah. shit be all about Jackie and shit, though, dog. Jackie be all like glaring daggers at me and shit. So, y'all ain't be lying to no bitch. Shit be like a hydra and shit. You cut one head off that bitch, two head grow back, you be lying to her. We are bros. We still be competing, you dig? And I do yeah. feel like I have the advantage on you. Because my dick be all four inches. Fucking straight as ramrod and shit. That's what they call me in high school when I be ramrodding bitches. I'd say that's cool, man. I praise you for being able to bang all them hoes back in the high school days. But I tell you what, I was naive on a dating subject back in high school. Well, I should have asked the woman. I should have banged my own share of hoes back in the day. But I didn't, dog, because I just did not think of it. I was really slow. And I, yet, I even had a girl, I even had a girl crush back then. But then she done left me. She was out dating with somebody, she was out dating with somebody else behind my back. I didn't even know about it. But she and I, we were tight. Yeah, dog. So what y'all gonna do to win Jackie Hart back and shit? See, I've been burning my addiction. Y'all got to burn your addiction, too. Yeah, my mind be slow, and I'd be uncertain of everything here. I mean, you be a big man. You burn all your boats, dog. I tell you what. So why y'all, why y'all pick a PS triple over my Jackie triple? Why y'all be doing that? Even though Jackie ain't want you to have that addiction. Hmm. It's an addiction that I would be able to get over easily enough when I actually have the woman nearby me. See, 
I burned my boats and shit before I even called Jackie. Because I knew even if Jackie be all rejecting me and shit, I'll be a new man for getting rid of my addiction. So why, why you ain't improving yourself, dog? To be honest, I, will, to be honest, I just don't know. It's pretty much, you know, I have my, my mind is so slow and we and I just be fear of change and it's just hard for me. Uh, I see because that down to some shit. Yeah, uh, d- not down to some autism. So what y'all saying is you got your video games and Jackie, she'd be like a woman with a poontang and shit and y'all be afraid of that. What? No. I'm not, I am not afraid of, I am not afraid of a woman. Y'all ain't want to give up PS Triple for a woman though. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. Why y'all be grunting, dog? Shit, not be setting your stomach and shit. Hmm. I don't know. All right, all right, all right. Let's get back. Y- y'all say you ain't afraid of no woman, and but but your actions show you want a video game more than a woman. Y'all really want Jackie or not? I want Jackie, and I want to be able to keep my video games. Shit, dog, that ain't always an option. Can't have your cake and eat it too. All right, well, that's, all right, well, that's good. It's been cool and real hanging with you. All right, you know, dog, I'm I'll talk to you. you soon. I'll talk to you soon. I'm going to go fuck Jackie now. Nice meeting you and okay. shit. Okay. Good night, yeah, dog. All right. Good night. On November 18th, Chris came to the conclusion that he wasn't mentally prepared for a serious relationship and he amicably broke up with Jackie. She asked him not to feel guilty about friend zoning her. Chris took issue with her word choice, having been friendzoned himself multiple times in the past. He also mentioned that while he wasn't ready for a relationship, he still wanted the sex and hoped to keep that option on the table. Jackie responded two days later. I'm not holding a grudge against you. I want to be your friend, so I'm going to be helpful and lay out the facts for you so you know what you're working with. There are some girls who are perfectly willing to have a casual sex-based relationship with no strings attached. The thing I bet you will care about is that those women only care about the shallowest aspects of men. By that I mean that they want guys who are good looking, muscular, manly and have big dicks. You do not fit any of those criteria Chris. You are significantly overweight and flabby. You have virtually no muscle. Your skin is pasty and your forehead is covered in acne scarring that is the most readily visible thing about you even in a low light, low resolution picture or video. Your hair is thinning and looks stringy and greasy all the time because you don't take care of it. Your body isn't getting the nutrients it needs to maintain it, and you probably don't wash it all that much. Now, if you want a girl who would look past all of the superficial stuff, you need to find a girl who wanted an honest relationship. A girl like me. Now, as I'm sure is obvious, I look past your physical appearance, lack of money, and so on, because I wanted to see what your personality is like. In all our time communicating with each other, You showed that you are incredibly petty and vindictive. You showed that you care nothing for other people's property or livelihood, as evidenced by the ridiculous grudge you still possess against Michael Snyder. You went into the store he was in charge of running. You hogged his TV to play your own games, even though he never owed you that. And then, when he tried to assert his dominance over the business he runs, you scrawled vile graffiti, slandering him in his own store and you refuse to play by the rules and force him to ban you. And years go by, and you still hold this childish grudge to the point of repeatedly trespassing on the store's property and taking pictures of his children in a threatening manner. You are hateful and judgmental towards entire groups of people you know nothing about. You hate gays for absolutely no reason. You are afraid of black people. You think calling someone a Jew is an insult. And yet, you still get super self-righteous and act all offended whenever you think someone is disrespecting you because they don't like your autism. You are a hypocrite of immense proportions, always holding other people to standards of behaviour that you believe you yourself have no obligation to follow. You criticise other people for social networking, saying the internet is turning them autistic, even though you sit at home playing your PlayStation 3 all day long. You throw words from the Bible at people when they do something that offends you, even though you lie, cheat, steal, want premarital sex, threaten bodily harm or murder on others, and a whole host of other activities that God doesn't like. And whenever you are cornered and can't explain away your rampant egotism and hypocrisy, you will just claim the trolls are responsible for all your problems, great and small, 
and act as though your bad internet experience excuses you from having to take responsibility for anything. Anyway, I know this probably sounds all pretty brutal and shocking to you. That's why I want you to save this email and reread it over and over. Read it again each day so the shock can fade, but my message can sink in. Because you really need this message to sink in, Chris. You need to do something different with your life. If you don't, then the life you have now is all you'll ever have. On November 22nd, for the sixth time, Chris announced his departure from the internet. Attention, read my lips. Online socialization is a bust. Socialize in real life is the top. And also, no more videos. Fuck you most and fuck you social sites like MySpace and Facebook. I'm out. Sweet little whore took me in with grad. What? What? What the f? And her mum was a bondage queen. What on earth, bro? What the f? <laughs> Whenever I don't think that the chapters can get worse, they just do. Good lord. Feeling an eight year old's dick up my ass. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna start again. That's fine. Then he told me to suck his dick, and I did. The taste and sight did not thrill me. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh. Finally, he was in me. Doggy, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, composure, composure, composure. So with that, I was able to move forward, feeling more confident in my orientation. Crazy. Crazy. I can't read that all again.